Hey guys, James Reeves, TFB TV, TriggerCon 2023, 86 blackout, catching on just like 300 blackout did. 300 blackout is to 223, what 86 blackout is to 308. You can get subsonic, crazy heavy rounds into like a 308 AR chassis. You guys are doing this now at Genesis. Tell us all about it, Cody. Absolutely. With the uh, Gen 12 being built on a 12 gauge lower, or a 308 lower for a 12 gauge, it was a no brainer. Move right over to 86 or 308. So we designed a upper receiver and we got the fax and barrel. So it's the one in three twist in the eight inch and the initial testing is awesome. Mm -hmm. It shoots like, the recoil feels like an AR-15, but it's powerful. You hear it hit the berm and it's incredible. No, I, it was unreal. I was up at Q just a few weeks ago and I got to shoot 8.6 for the first time. Got the explanation on the super crazy fast one in three twist rate. And so this is kind of barely enough, both competition for an 8.6 gun like the boombox, but also when you see more manufacturers bringing 8.6 guns to market, that's also going to ensure the success of the caliber. So I think it's very important for guys like you, Genesis, your great manufacturer, for you guys to dip into this too. So, I mean, yes. is that a fair statement? I, I agree. In fact, obviously, with Kevin doing the 8.6, the 300 blackout, when he made the announcement and the idea behind an 8.6, I was like, why would we not want to join that great idea? I mean, to be in a large frame and have the quietness of a 300 blackout, but a stopping power in a slug that's near the weight of a 12 gauge, it's it's incredible. So we had built a PDW stock. This is our prototype for the 12 gauge. So for us, it was like, we just got to build an upper receiver to swap out with a 12 gauge upper and you're on to an 8.6. And uh, yeah, it's just been awesome, so. Yeah, and walk me through the specs of this gun. You don't even have, this is so new, you don't even have a name for it. Yeah, yet. I mean, internally, we just keep referring to it as like the PDW, because it's a PDW style stock. Uh, it's the eight inch fax and barrel. We do have the uh, Q short chop on there. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it's just our Gen 12 lower and our, our 308 upper, so. Magazine compatibility. Yeah, DPMS style, so Magpul, and then we put the superlative gas block on here so you can fine tune it. Uh, this particular setup, we took the suppressor off, it runs both suppressed and unsuppressed with the same setting. That's so quiet. Okay, perfectly well. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So obviously our buffer system was proprietary, so it just ended up working out great. So no need to change your gas systems when you're going suppressed or unsuppressed, or supers for that. Sure, and two most important questions at any trade show. How much and when? And I know you're probably not going to be able to give me an answer, damn it. Yeah. But, you know, I still have to ask. Well, I don't even have a name. <laughs> so, Fair enough. Fair. But I would say probably in January at SHOT Show, this will be full for release. Uh, and the other thing is, is ammo, you know, having ammo available. Uh -huh. And there's a lot of rumor mill about how soon that's going to be. And I think January would be a good time. And you know what? I think that's a great segue because we're at the G9 booth and we've got... Weston Rogers, my close personal friend, he's going to explain the uh, the G9 ammo, 8.6 ammo, right? Yep. Yeah, what do we got? So, um, you know, with the 8.6 coming out, there's a lot of excitement initially, and, and the engineers at G9 looked at that, and, and wow, what, what can we do to take advantage of a twist rate like this? Um, there's obviously, you know, we've got, we're bound by subsonics to get a subsonic round out there, but when we can make use of a one in three twist like that, spinning at that kind of rate, um, we can get some incredible terminal performance out of some of our other technologies. And so we're applying uh, the same shape charge technology that we see in our external hollow points to a larger platform. It looks like a golf pencil. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a lot of things. We, we get some comments on that. Um, <laughs> I wasn't going to go there, dog. You know, I mean, look, this is family friendly. It's TFB TV. That's not true. Go. Continue. Um, uh, so this round here is a 314 grain subsonic. It's going to be um, probably our front runner on the on the 86 product line. Uh -huh. um, it is wildly effective on target. Our first gel testing, we had a high speed camera set up and, and uh, we got this amazing high speed video of, of the, the gel block blown up, but then also that, that rotational energy is so much that once it came to its rest in the gel block, it zipped out the side and we got this slow moving video of it and we're right at the high speed camera. What is rotational energy out there for people who didn't watch my 8.6 boombox video? So rotational energy is going to be part of the terminal effect we get when we're spinning a projectile this fast. With that one in three twist. That's correct, yeah. So the flutes you'll see are, are matched with this projectile to one in three twist so that we can properly 
get in there and move fluid to take advantage of that. But yeah, that rotational energy is what maintains after the linear energy is gone. Sounds like a gimmick. Might sound like it, but it isn't. We've definitely been able to prove that over time through other, you know, our other rounds at Shape Target Technology. Um, you know, this is a way to deliver a better terminal performance without the, the issues associated with, you know, barriers, things like that, because it's going to perform the same way every single time, unlike a traditional hall point design. Yeah, and I teed that up for you because, I mean, again, I was just at Q a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, so I'm a believer now in, in the whole yeah. 8 6 thing. Yeah. So, uh, last question for those out there who, who might be watching this who are familiar with 300 Blackout, but not 8.6, what are we talking about in terms of energy from an 8.6 versus a 300 Blackout? It, the comparison between 223 and, and 300 Blackout from 308 to 8.6, it, it, it's not a really comparison. It's a significant leap forward in terminal performance and energy on target. Um, when we're pushing a 314 grain projectile that's got some really thoughtful design behind it, we're getting the most out of it. And, and really, it's a, it's, a, it's a multiplier, not just an increase. You know. Weston, thanks a ton for being awesome. on the program. Guys, thanks for watching. And oh, thank you for showing us the, uh, what's, what do you call it, the, G, the G9 dog dick. What is this? <laughs> Love the new 8.6 from Genesis. Love the 8.6. Guys, stay tuned. We're bringing you more from TriggerCon 2023.